This is amazing. Now we have NVIDIA Launchpad and NVIDIA NIM. Using NVIDIA NIM, you are able to instantly deploy generative AI large language models anywhere. Use NVIDIA NIM to self-host AI models in the cloud or data center of your choice. Data never leaves your secure enclave. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can deploy a NVIDIA NIM on your own computer, which means you are self-hosting your own large language model. And finally, you integrate that in an application like this. So when you ask a question, give me a meal plan for today, then it's going to generate response. This is super exciting. Also, I'm going to show you about NVIDIA Launchpad. So what is NVIDIA Launchpad? It provides free access to enterprise NVIDIA hardware and software through an internet browser. You are able to test, prototype and deploy your own application and models. You have various labs that you can learn AI. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about NVIDIA Launchpad and how to deploy NVIDIA NIM in that Launchpad. So the Launchpad could be your own computer or any computer. I'm going to take you step by step on various steps involved to deploy a NVIDIA NIM on your computer and deploy it on an application like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. So first, you need to request access to NVIDIA Launchpad. So once after you get access, you are able to log in to your Launchpad, which looks like this. Here you got your own coder ID, your own metrics, and you are able to set up your SSH. So coder is nothing but a VS code in cloud. So if I click this, you can see immediately you got the code editor running in your own browser. You can see the configuration. So here I can see it's NVIDIA H100. That's one of the most advanced graphic card. And you can try and test this in this launch pad. So when you click the metrics, it opens a dashboard. This is a Grafana dashboard where you can see the performance, the GPU memory utilization, the CUDA version, CPU utilization, and much more. If you prefer directly logging into this machine, then you can use SSH. In that way, you can open this machine directly from your computer rather than via browser. So first, now we are going to deploy a large language model that is Llama 370 billion parameter model on this launch pad. It could be your own computer. So first, deploying the large language model, then second, integrating that with your own application. First, if you see NVIDIA NIM, you got models catalog. I've already covered in detail how to integrate or test these models even before deploying that on your own computer. I will link that in the description below. So when you access the large language model, you have multiple models which you can view from the models catalog. So here I can see Llama 370 billion parameter model. So if I click that, it's asking me, do I want to download the NIM? So I can just click this and it will show me detailed information how I can download and deploy it on my computer. As a prerequisite, you need Docker on your computer. So we have Docker image as you can see here. So first step, when you go to org.ngc.nvidia.com slash setup, there you are able to generate your API key. And also you can generate personal keys. API keys for testing the large language model before deploying it on your computer. Personal key is used to download the NIM, that is the Docker image. So step number two, export your NGC API key. That is the personal key which you just generated. After this, click enter. Next, we need to authenticate. To do that, we are just typing this command, echo, then the personal key, Docker login, and providing the username, that will be the OAuth token, and password standard in, and then click enter. So now I can see that password got stored. Login succeeded. Now I'm able to deploy NIM on this computer, which is my own launch pad. To do that, I'm going to export the container name. That is Metalama 8B instruct. I can even replace this with 70B to deploy 70 billion parameter model. To keep this quick and to show you how fast this can run, I'm using 8 billion parameter model. So here I'm using Docker, as you can see here, Docker run. And this is the image path. Now I'm going to click enter. Now it's starting the process and it's setting up all the required packages to get the NIM running on the computer. Now I can see it is ready and it's running in port number 8000. So I can even test by running this curl command. Now we have successfully deployed the large language model. Next, we are going to test it. Just type this curl command. 
which we saw from the previous terminal, just copying it to test it. And then in the new terminal, I'm just typing and clicking enter. Now you can see immediately I got a response that is a streaming response. Now there's an option to port forward that is open in browser. So I'm going to click that. And also I have connected from my VS code directly to the server, which means the VS code is running on my local computer. You can even browse the launch pad directly from the browser. But in my case, I have linked my local VS code with the launch pad. In that way, I can test this model locally on my computer, even though this model is sitting in launch pad. So I click the open in browser button. So automatically the port forwarding is active. Now this is my local computer. The previous one was Launchpad, that is in the cloud, just that you know the difference. So here I'm going to type the same command again, but with this endpoint and then click enter. Now I got a response. This confirms that I was able to talk to the large language model, which I've just deployed. Now next step is to integrate that with your own Python application. Pip install OpenAI and Chainlit to install OpenAI and Chainlit package. OpenAI package is like the proxy package to run this model. Then we are using Chainlit to set up a chat-like interface. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside that, from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next client equals OpenAI, and then we are providing the endpoint, which is port number 8000, and then API key is not used because we have kept it open. It's always better to secure your endpoint for security reasons. Next, I'm going to give a prompt, give me a meal plan for today. Next, I'm using client.completions.create function, providing the model name, prompt, maximum number of tokens, streaming equals false. Finally, completion equals response choices.txt, and then printing the response. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py in your terminal. And you can see the response here. Task is that to create a meal plan for me today. And here I got the breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. And this response is directly from the NIM, which we have just deployed. Now I'm going to convert this into a user interface. So here's the modified code. Same as before, we are using the base URL, API key not used. Using all these settings, you can modify this based on your requirement. And here I'm using chainlit. So on start. So whenever the chat starts, we are sending a message to the large language model. That is a system message. You are a helpful assistant. So whenever we type something and click enter, then that message will come here together with the message history, which means you get the context. Then again, we are calling the same function chat completions.create and providing the message history with the settings. And finally, we are updating the message. That's it. Just two extra function to integrate or create a user interface. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, chainlit run ui.py hyphen hyphen port 3000. I already I have the large language model running in port number 8000. So here I'm mentioning port number 3000 and click enter. And then this interface opens. Now I'm going to ask a question. Give me a meal plan for me today and then click enter. And here is automatically generating the response and it's also super quick. Now we have successfully created an application and in the backend it's running a large language model deployed using NIM. Do try NIM and also Launchpad to learn on high-end machines. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.